Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 15th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Chris, before we get started, because most of the action is on the uh, new issue side, we'll take a quick look in the markets this week. Uh, pretty quiet week for munis. Yields uh, were pretty stable throughout the week. Uh, plus basis point here, minus basis point there. They ended up basically unchanged for the week. Um, we saw a rebound in investor interest in munis. Uh, cash flows to municipal bond mutual funds were up to uh, just under $500 million for the week. A nice rebound from just the, uh, the minuscule $37 million uh, positive last week. The ratios were higher in the 10-year and the 30-year for the week, although uh, today on Friday we're seeing a, a sell-off in Treasuries. So they may all be uh, reversing uh, back to the mean. Um, let's move over and talk right about the uh, the new issue market. Again, that's where the activity was. This week was a holiday-shortened week, not a, a huge amount of supply. What, uh, what did you see? All right, so Mike, we had an average week this week for BAM. We priced nearly $260 million of PAR in the primary market, and that was across 22 transactions and nine states this week. Um, some notable deals for the week were the Salinas School District in Ohio. That was a $72 million deal with Benning and Scattergood. Uh, Montclair, California, priced a lease transaction totaling $41 million with Hilltop Securities. And there was also a South Wayne Water and Sewer deal in Pennsylvania that RBC priced that totaled nearly $29 million. And so we're going through all this really quickly because the action is next week. What uh, what do you see on the calendar coming up? Uh, just under twelve billion of supply market wide. What uh, what's on the band calendar? That's right, big calendar next week. We're expecting on an aggregate side, expecting to see continued volume in the Texas mud market and the competitive space. So that's something we're following pretty closely. In aggregate for BAM next week, we have nearly eight hundred million dollars of bonds slated to price. Um, some notable transactions for next week. There's a there's $300 million of Oakland USD slated to sell across two series, uh, and that's with Seabird. Uh, there's a UC Irvine deal with Jefferies that's going to total nearly $193 million. And then there's also two series of Wildwood Utilities in Florida, also with Jefferies slated to uh, come at $168 million of par. So very solid week next week. We're looking forward to it. Great. And a huge geographic diversity for uh, investors to take their pick from as well. Great. Right. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Chris. Have a good weekend. And uh, we'll see. we know you'll be busy next week, but hopefully you'll have time to join us on Friday. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 